the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 156, Psalms 120 to 134. Blessings to your family. God blesses those who gladly climb the steps toward his temple to offer praise, and it is a joy to be his associate. First point. The psalmist confesses that he seeks help from God who built the universe. Psalm 121 was written to sing praise as the psalmist went up to the temple. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The psalmist claims that God protects us at all times and helps us when our hearts are wavering. The psalmist looks towards Mount Zion, where the temple is, and reminisces about all the times God was with him during his life. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade and your right hand. The psalmist proclaimed that God gives us strength and protection. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. God does not sleep or fate, and he is with those who rely on him, both during the day and the night. We are consoled from God's strength and power. Second point, David confessed that he is overjoyed when people go to God's house with him. Psalm 122 was written by David, and it was appropriate to sing this during the three annual festivals. The Israelite men were expected to stand before God three times a year during the three annual festivals. Those who kept this were able to experience joy. That is where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to praise the name of the Lord according to the statute given to Israel. David claims that those who seek God and stand before his presence are blessed. I rejoiced with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing in your gates, Jerusalem. David said that those who meet with God can overcome their despair and find joy in praising him. Praise and worship brings us closer to God. Third point, Solomon confessed that if God does not build the house, then the labor of builders is in vain. Psalm 127 was written by Solomon, and it is called his wisdom poem. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the goddess stand watch in vain. Solomon was someone who built many buildings in his lifetime. He built the temple for seven years and also his palace for 13 years. He put a great deal of effort into these projects. Solomon confessed that he could not do anything without God. Christians are those who ask God before doing something. We could be the ones who stuck the bricks, but the one who makes the house is God. Solomon was able to confess this. Passing on your faith to the next generation is the best thing we can do. David was able to do this to Solomon. David made the preparations for the temple, but the one to actually make it was Solomon. David and Solomon implemented their dream together. They both had in their hearts to glorify God. Fourth point, the psalmist sings that God blesses the families who obey God. Psalm 128 is a wisdom poem. The people who worked towards God 
is blessed and God looks favorably upon these people. The blessings mentioned by God in this psalm were, You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. As such, God promised such blessings for those who obeyed and turned to God. Fifth point, the psalmist asks God to remember the promise he made with David. Psalm 132 praises the descendants of David. The psalmist lists the actions of David and blesses his descendants. The psalmist prays to God to remember the covenant he made with David and to fulfill his promise. David adored and valued God's ark, and God looked favorably on him for this. Thus, the psalmist put David in his prayer. As such, Psalm 132 reflects on the fulfillment of God's covenant with David and the coming of the Messiah. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 